So the environment has become much more conducive to entrepreneurs. Uh, you know, uh, in, in the recent past, uh, I think it's a lot easier for Indian businesses to set up in India. Um, yes, there are foreign companies that come in and mostly those companies come in because they have a technology advantage. It's not for any other reason. India is seen as a large market, it's a large market size uh, and every company of course wants to be here now given that the market size is so large. However, Indian companies are also developing technologies. So whilst you may not see it in your uh, you know, uh, manufacturing space as much as you'll see it in the services space or as much as in the, in, in, in the e-commerce and the dot-com space. So, you know, it, it varies in, in what kind of space you're looking at. We've seen a lot of innovation happen, uh, you know, in, in the e-commerce space. You've seen a lot of innovation happen in tech, uh, you know, in India itself. One of the largest platforms for innovation is the App Store, uh, you know, and that really is the largest platform uh, ever created. Uh, for innovation and there's a lot of you know entrepreneurs in India that are also sort of you know playing around in that space. Yes in manufacturing technology is, is, is key mm, of key importance and um, as companies develop technology or bring in joint ventures which is also you know a way of uh, being an entrepreneur uh, this is sort of increasing and we've seen that in the auto component industry we're a very good example of an industry that has really grown to become uh, com you know, globally competitive with any uh, company uh, around the world. So, for our specific business, we see India as a, as a hub. Definitely, we see a huge advantage of manufacturing India, uh, you know, from a cost perspective as well. Uh, and the companies like ours that will become or create uh, this kind of manufacturing platform will happen because of volume. Uh, and as volumes increase in India and, you know, what you export, uh, we're more and more, uh, you know, closer to becoming a hub. So, yes, I definitely see a great, greater uh, stress on Indian businesses expanding in the Indian space itself. Again, you know, when I look at our own business, I'd rather have a large, ex you know, uh, a manufacturing base here than anywhere else because this is easier for me to sort of control in terms of tomorrow there's a downturn in another country etc at least I can divert capacity somewhere else so our business is focusing on expanding in India uh, so I mean you know our and I've said this over and over again our, our industry is extremely disruptive we're as disruptive as, as a fintech industry I would say and over the last uh, you know few years we've seen a paradigm shift in terms of what's happening in the automotive space um, you know it used to be all about safety uh, light weighting and connectivity and to that to that you've added autonomous and, and electrification uh, so there's a huge need to be innovative uh, not just in systems but in processes innovative in management as well so there's a huge opportunity as well that comes with that uh, and um, I think companies are adapting to that, you know, in, in the Indian space we're supplying to companies across the globe and that's because we have the ability to innovate and we have the ability to move, you know, at the speed at which the automotive industry is moving. We're seeing in the West, you know, the industry move a lot faster and you're reading about electrification, you read about autonomous and, you know, I'm pretty certain that it's much sooner than what is being ex uh, said or what we expect and, uh, and therefore you need to continuously innovate you know your product you need to continuously innovate your systems your processes and, and your way of thinking. So from a technical perspective you know we have a product that uh, we master the technology and we build all the dyes and tooling etc for that for the product that we build which is again a huge advantage uh, and then again you know we're, we're, a, we're a company that's able to think and move quick you know we're not a bureaucratic company uh, we're able to make quick decisions we have management in, that is able to make quick decisions and has the power to make those decisions on their own I think that's really the advantage we bring as an organization. So, you know, I feel um, it's important for entrepreneurs to look at a mitigating a risk. When you look at businesses that have been successful, it's because they're out there mitigating a risk that they believe uh, could uh, would happen in an industry. So if you look at our example, if you look at the automotive space and 
uh, with us getting into our business right at the beginning, it was to mitigate a risk. Uh, so an entrepreneur looks at business in that way. An entrepreneur must look at business with passion and they must have passion for the business. You know, very often uh, uh, entrepreneurs look at businesses uh, as, uh, you know, being success being uh, the goal, everything else being a byproduct. Uh, and then finally, I feel it's important for entrepreneurs to know scope. It's very important to know what you will do and what you will not do. And it's more important to define exactly what you will not do because a lot of people get carried away with doing more than what they should be doing, you know, which can, uh, you know, which can lead to, uh, you know, not being successful. The other thing that um, is important is managing fast growth. Uh, you know, entrepreneurs must know how to manage fast growth. Uh, very often businesses fail uh, because uh, people are not able to manage fast growth. Mm -hmm.